Hi guys, this is Starlia. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I come to my channel without um, not cross stitch related. Uh, but today it is a haul from Joan Michaels and Dollar Tree. I went looking for some stuff after seeing um, Crafty Kate's um, Gloria's um, Black Friday sales um those stamps the um the jelly bean stamps and i've been in the lookout for them since then and finally i find some today not all of them but i only wanted i think three or four but i found two i think of the one i wanted well i only missing one so so let's start with that so I went to Joanne and I went to the Joanne that is far from where I live because the ones around me doesn't have nothing. I'm trying to take all this stuff out. So so first I got these stances from the um, Studio G. I just got it because of the um, the sentiment. I don't have too many sentiment um, stamp sets, and I don't think I have many Christmas ones. So um, I gotta make some um, some cards from from work for work, and I didn't want it to say Christmas or nothing because I don't know, you know, if everybody celebrate Christmas. So I like that this one to say warmest holiday and happy holiday to you and yours. So, and this one were a uh, dollar ninety nine, I think, plus a twenty percent on top. So I found the stamp sets, and um, they were sixty percent off. So I grabbed, but they didn't have the um, the plastic for two of them. So I'm I'm missing one. I'm missing the truck. That's the primary one I wanted, but they didn't have it. I saw it in Blitzy, so I might get it from Blitzy if I don't find the... Because I don't think if they already had them at 60%, I don't think they're going to stack up on them again. Because, you know, after the 25th, they get rid of, of Christmas stuff. So, um... I'm going to check one more time. If not, then I'll get them th through online because I want the truck one. So I got this one. This one, they didn't have neither the cards uh, nor the plastic. Just the stamp. But you could make the window with the die. That's that's the point of, of, of that. But they didn't have the, the shaker plastic and the cards. And then I got the fireplace, which I this was one of the ones I wanted and again they didn't have the shaker plastic or the card either so so I got those two this was the primary one I wanted the 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 be tacky the ugly sweater so I got that one and for that one I got um the card and the plastic and they only have one plastic Cause they were sixty percent, so they came out to a dollar fifty-five, and I wanted to stack up in this because this only brings six. This brings twelve, so I wanted at least um, three packs of it, so I could do all the shakers with it. But again, I'll be in the lookout again to see if I find more. So that that and the last one that I got was the stacking, there, which was another one that I wanted, and then. Um, I got the the car and I got the the shaker. Um they also had the one that it was an ornament. They had the whole set like the car, the shaker, plastic and the but I wasn't too fun on that one. And the other one they had was the snowflake. I, that is didn't and they only had the set the die and, and stamp. They didn't have the car or the shaker plastic. And the other one they had was a penguin. Again, just the stamp and die. They didn't have the other parts of it. Oh, and they have the other tree. 
they had the other three and they had the the whole set but i didn't really like it so i just grabbed this four um this four was the this three and the car it was the main ones that i wanted this one just is uh I liked it and it was there so I grabbed it even though they didn't have the other sets but that's the stamps that I wanted and I know I haven't been crafting at all but I still I still want to get them because I know after the Christmas is over I'm gonna regret not getting them that's why I I grabbed them and like I'm a, I gotta make um six cards because that's only six people in my office so I'll make three of each quick and easy and some candy bags and that's it the other stamp that i grabbed was this one from the um miss parker and co i couldn't find nothing for christmas this is the only thing i found i couldn't find no paper pads and and joanne no christmas paper pad um that's it this is the only thing that i found for that it was christmas and it was in an end cap and like i said it was 60 percent off and then this one I found it next to the cashier and this is all I found this stamp set so that's all I found for Christmas I maybe I'm too late for the game because I wasn't planning on buying nothing but then I saw um Gloria's haul and I fell in love with these stamp sets is that I need to get them the other thing I got some um crochet hooks because I started crocheting some um sack slippers uh to get to put in my in my daughter's stacking and then of course i gotta add a, a, a crochet uh cross stitch kit and this is one that i found that it is very pretty it's it's it's, it's a daughter's a daughter saying so i must start this one tonight so i could have it ready for christmas and frame it and give it to my daughter as, as part of her gifts so that is that I'm still looking for that fabric that is the trucks, the little red car with the tree uh, on top. I still can find it online nowhere. So I went today to that new, uh, that far, um, Joanne, hopefully, hope, hoping that it was there, but no, I couldn't find it. But I found this one. This is a flannel, but it's, a, it's, it's the thin one. It's not the thick one. So I still could use it for um for project bag, and I like it because it has these colors and it has the tree, it has the little thing with the gift, the pink car with the tree. So I thought this was so cute. I only grabbed half a yard because that's all I need to make um the project bag, but I couldn't find. I mean I've been looking all over the place, Joanne online, Joanne everywhere, nothing. I saw it and and etsy but i'm not paying eight dollars for half a yard when i know they got it in joanne's cheap and they selling it so i mean i want it but not that bad because i'm not paying i'm not going to overpay for it so i found this one this is good enough for me so i'll make a project back out of this and call it a day and that's it so i found that fabric and then i found this um Remnant and is um Christmas flamingo. How cute is that? Look how cute is that? So I will make a couple of projects because this is um I think it's half a yard in here. I don't know, it's a pretty big chunk. So I'll make whatever I could make out of this one. So I got that one and then I found these fat quarters of the toy soldiers so I thought that was cute for a project bag and then I found this one this is another fat quarter this was 99 cents so and this one is like um like yeah like little I don't know very girly so another project bag for that so that's all I got in Joanne's. I went mainly for, and I'm glad I did because I did check online to see if they have them, but they didn't have them on the website. So I was like, should I take the risk and drive 40 minutes to see if they have it? If they don't have it, that was a waste of time. Not really because I would have picked up other stuff, but 
I really wanted that. So I'm glad I went, even though they're not, they not showing on, online that they have it on stock. And I was able to grab some of the ones I wanted. So, so that is join. Then in the same mall, is that's the mall that I go there. It's Joanne, Michael's, and across the street is Hobby Lobby. But I didn't get, went to Hobby Lobby. So um, then I went to Michael right there. And because I saw somebody, I went looking for this. This is a diamond painting. And it's the little, um, the, the truck. But it's in black. It's not in red with the tree and gifts on top so i i needed that diamond painting i saw somebody posted it in and one of the groups on facebook um these things are pricey i mean you i pay more than what i usually pay for diamond painting but then again this is diamond dots which is a good quality that was the first one i did and but they are pricey they are they were 32 dollars and I use a 50% coupon plus a 20% on top. But it still came out to 12 something, which is still a little pricey for diamond painting. But I wanted it, so I got it. So I got that. I'm going to start that one soon. And then, again, I couldn't find nothing in Michael Christmas. No paper pads, no dies and stamps. Nothing. I don't know. Maybe are they already cleaning it out. I, like I say, I'm late to the game. I wasn't planning on shopping for Christmas stuff. Because I have, from the previous years, I have like five drawers full of Christmas stuff. So, I say I wasn't, like I'm not crafting. I say I'm not going shopping. But then, that's what happened when you start watching these whole videos. I, I was doing fine now watching them. And then I started watching them again. And there I go. So anyway, um, I couldn't find in that Michael. I'm going to check the Michael maybe um, Wednesday. I'm going to check the other Michael, the one near my house. And the other one that is in Connecticut, but it's closer. It's right in the border of Massachusetts and in Connecticut. The one I went today is 40 minutes apart. So, but they had nothing, nothing Christmas paper craft related. So I was like, oh, okay. So I went to the hot buys and maybe these are not new. They new for me because I don't have them. So I got this holiday bash. It's, um, I like the colors. It's Christmas, but it's not Christmas colors. And um, there's only one page that I don't like, maybe two, but I could live with that. So I'm sure you guys seen this one before because I don't know if they knew or not. That wasn't there when I bought the other Christmas one, the one um, that is like pink and purple. It, this was not there when I bought it. So I got this one. Just going to do a quick read through. The cactus. Which I'm not fun of them. So that's one of the prints I don't like. I like this one right here. I don't know if you guys could see it. I like this one right here. And you got that one. Love this one. I love that flamingo there. I do have a dye from um, Cottage Cuts. The Christmas flamingo that I want to do ornaments for this year and I'm not feeling it guys I'm not feeling the Christmas I haven't decorated I haven't put Christmas tree I haven't done nothing I'm not feeling it this year I don't know why so they got this one they got this pink one with snowflakes love this one the little trees that teal with the snowflakes Love this one. I'm a I'm a frame this one. Bring on the holidays here, so I will frame that one and put it up this year or maybe next year. This is another one that I'm not fond of it. The unicorns and the mermaid, but I could I could use it for anything. Then they have this one. This was my favorite one right here. This one matched with um 
these colors also kind of go with the Santa Baby collection too, which I have not touched. But it will get used. If it doesn't get used this year, it will get used next year. This one. Love this of uh, this cutout. It matched perfect that collection. And the other one too. So I could combine them when I decide to use them. Party like Santa's not watching. That's cute. It has some gold foil in it. Cut apart. I like the colors though. That's what drew me to it. This is so cute. Cause I I love I don't like the 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 traditional Christmas colors. I hate the red and green. I hate it so much. So I like these colors better. So look at it in that teal. Very cute. This one. So this is very pretty paper pad. And then I found this one is Christmas pets. So I needed to grab this one. So whenever we throw a picture of the dogs with Santa or with the outfits, I could eventually do a scrapbook out of it. So I grabbed it and they were like they were five dollars. They were seventy percent. So I would not use the ones that are cats. But the ones there are dogs that we use. Oh. So yeah, when I use the the cat ones, because I don't have a cat, but I will use the doggy ones. This is cute though. It, it's all these cats. It is cute for somebody that has cats. I, I don't. This one I could use it. This one I could use it. These butters I could use. Oh, this is cute. I mean, wishing you a perfect, a powerful Christmas. That's cute. The doggies, I could use that one. The colors are very pretty too. This is cute. Happy holidays. <laughs> this is so cute. So it's a lot that I could use, just maybe a few pages that have cats that I cannot use. Oh, this is so cute, but it's cats. Hopefully they have a doggy one. This is so cute. Oh, this one is mixed. This is cats and dogs, so I could use it because it had the dogs in it. Haha, <laughs> this is so cute with this cat. This is so cute too. Santa's Paul wishing you a perfect Christmas. Oh, oh yeah, they have one. So I'll frame this one too. We will feel Merry Christmas. Oh, that is so cute. And we have a small dog. We have a big dog and a small dog. Well, mine is just Chih Tzu. But we have a big dog too. They had this one. Then they had the cut apart. Yappy holiday. That's so cute. This is so cute. You don't see too many pets um papers out there. So um that is so cute. The recollection came out with with this one for Christmas. Happy holiday. <laughs> Bark the hair or angel sings. Oh, dash into the snow. That's so cute. So yeah, that is all. That's all I got from Michael because I couldn't find nothing. Nothing at all for Christmas. No dice, no stamps, and that's what mainly what I look for because I know then um 
I'll be mad when I don't find them. So, but anyway, that's all I have from Michael. Those two paper pads and the diamond dot. Okay. I will check the other Michael during the week and see what I could find. Then I went um, yesterday to Dollar Tree. Um, this year, I don't, I didn't find much. I mean, I didn't buy because it's the same tags and and things that I have two and three packs from the previous years. So I didn't buy none of that because it's, it's basically the same thing. There was nothing diff um like last year there was that coffee um the hot cocoa coffee's uh motive motive that's what was the hot selling last year this year i didn't see nothing none of that nothing that was there was like wow this is it nothing so um so i just got a few things to decorate if i decide to do it so i grabbed this one it says have a cup of cheer and um and i grabbed some so i could add to them with my cross stitch when it's on like this one i have this one is too artery so i could put a finish um cross stitch piece in that because i like the shape it's a tag so i grabbed that one but then i grabbed this one because it has the truck this is to put it in the living room or in the craft room i'm not sure where i'm gonna put it yet and then I got the sleigh. Uh, I don't know if I keep it as it is or I'll archer it and put one of the cross stitch Christmas that I'm, if it fits in this. I think I'm gonna go and stack up on at least two more of this so I could archer them. And um, I need another one of these because I wanna keep this one in the craft room. But I need another one for the living room. And this one's to Arthur, and this one is for the kitchen. You see, this is the, the thing we had last year, the cocos, cups, and all that stuff. I didn't find nothing this year. I know Dollar General had the car, a whole bunch of things, but by the time I was able to go to shop, everything was gone, so I missed on that. Because they had everything for the kitchen, like little towers, the pot holders, they had the rug. They have, I think, the place hold the placemats for that truck. And by the time that I was able to go, you know, I thought pays all the bills and all that stuff. Everything was gone. So I'm missing that. So then I grabbed this phone block because I'm gonna try to um one of my cross stitch that I finished, I'm gonna try to make it, you know, cover this with it. And then I found this cute um, bag. It's cosmetic bags. For, I could use them for project bag um, as a small, the ornaments I'm doing or something like that. So I grabbed those. And what else? Um. I grab a Christmas tree so I could put in the craft room and then I grab this um, little lights for it and they are like um, Santa's head they have different kinds but I just I just got the Santa and I got two of them I don't think that's if that's enough for I mean this tree is small so that's that I have some small ornament for last year's um, then I got a stocking this one is for my dog for rocky and um one plain for me because i'm an artery i'm a glue a cross cross stitch piece on it and then um i grab a eight by ten frame so i could frame my um diamond painting that i finished so i'm gonna frame this one in there so i could hang it in my craft room and um i found this that i was so happy to find them but i only found two and i hope i was hoping they had like more things with it but no this is the only thing 
and is this one is has have yourself a merry christmas cookies for santa but what i'm gonna do is i bought the little um stand i bought the stand so i could put it in this play like this and i will have one in my in my room and one in i'm um, in my craft room and one in the living room so i grabbed two of those that was the only two they have i was hoping they had more stuff out with that book that's all i found and uh what else oh and i found these bags these plastic bags these are big these are 14 by 9 and a quarter i got them because they are perfect for um to use as a project bag for cross for the cross stitch and the crochet so i mean that not all of them has to be that fancy you know the ones you make with fabric and all that so i thought this was great so i grabbed those they had the big ones i bought five of the big ones and then i bought five of the small ones the small ones are seven seven by three almost four inches and then it brings the the uh, the little um notion bags too so perfect so i grabbed five of this one just for the small projects it's good to have different sizes of bags and again not all of them has to be all those fancy bags i mean i make my own so it doesn't matter but i mean I will have more projects than bags so i had to have a different different kinds of bags so i could um so i could work you know because i have a lot of projects that i'm gonna start and i don't have enough fabrics bags but i found this ones and i thought this was perfect so i think that's it guys um yeah uh, I also went to Walmart and grabbed a few things in Walmart. I grabbed a whole um, book of the interfacing that I use um, for the bag. So I grabbed a whole one, a whole thing. And... Um, I grabbed this picture for uh, my dog. The dogs are going to go um, for picture with Santa. So I'm going to put what is the picture right here. So I got that in Walmart. And then I got this for my daughter's um, stocking. So that's it. That's all I got. I can say I wasn't planning to shop uh, for Christmas because... I'm not feeling it, so I'm not doing really nothing. I've been sick too, like a dog, for the past week and a half. This cold doesn't want to go away. So, um, oh, and I wanted to see you guys. Um, my channel was flagged as copyright. Um, this company, um, Frantic Stampers. I have no idea who they are. I never heard of them until I got the copyright case in my channel. They claim that one of the videos from July from Alias Press that I was copywriting because I have videos. I had some dyes that are supposedly their dyes. Again, I don't know which dye they're talking about. Um and um because they he did that person the owner of that company made a comment but i know it because i said i don't want to get into it i just gonna let it go you know i should have said something to them and maybe we would have got to an agreement i would have take down the video and they would not give me that but i ignored it because i didn't want to get into it because he tried to, you know, the way he worded the thing, he said people like Dahlia that uh, I encourage all the people to buy, blah, blah, blah. So I took it like, you know, he want to go there and I don't want to go there. So I just left it like that. And then um, a week later, they reported me to 
to YouTube for copyright, so they um, YouTube took down the the video. But I did took all the AliExpress dice hauls. I took them out because I don't want YouTube to um, to shut down my channel like it happened last time last summer that they were shutting down at people's channel because of the copyright issue with the dice. And remind mind you that I had that disclaimer that Lolera Lolera Rogers uh, shared to us, so we could use you know disclaiming that we don't know everybody you know company that whatever so again i don't know who the heck is frantic stampers never heard of them never buy a dive from them because i buy aliexpress but you guys know that i have i, I have dyes for all companies because i support if i like the dye and i could afford it i buy it you know i love aliexpress and i continue buying in aliexpress but i'm not gonna be um Showing no more AliExpress dies hauls. I would do the dies that are like you know basic shape dies and stuff like that, or whatever that you I get from Alina Craft because she got her own style and you know her her her, her um dies. I'm sure they're not copyright. There's a lot of copyright and dies and 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 AliExpress. So I would not be doing more dies that I think they are copyrighted. I mean, I don't have the time to sit down and look through the whole internet to see which company has this dye. So to avoid problems and to keep my channel clear of copyrights, I'm not gonna, uh, I haven't bought a dye in, a lot, in the past, I don't know, like three to four months, I have not bought a dye. There's some already in my, ch in my car that I wanna get. Um, and I will get them at the beginning of new year, of the new year. But I'm not gonna be doing no more dice hauls from AliExpress because, again, I don't want my. They they told me this. I already had one strike, two more strikes. They will close down my my channel. And you know that happened last summer to to a lot of girls like Scrapping Diva to um. Rosa to a lot of people and I don't want to go through that and um, so to keep my channel clear of that I'm not gonna be doing I will post all the things look a look I get I got a whole bunch of Zippers from Aliexpress and I still get things from Aliexpress because I got some This one I will show it in my other when I do my floss too. I bought some Things and Aliexpress, I could make some needle minders, but those, that's gonna be show in my floss tube um, haul. So um, yeah, so I wanted to let you know that in case, um, see, I took down a lot of videos down, cause like I said, now I did, I should have contact them, but I didn't. I just didn't want to make a big deal out of it, and and I should have, but. It's done. Whatever is done, it's done now. I went already to the copyright school, but that thing, that flag is going to stay in my channel until March. So, but just putting it out there. So, you guys, if you guys are doing AliExpress hauls, guys, be careful because um, YouTube is at it again with the copyright issues. And, um, like, again, that person he was he checked a video that it was i think of june june or july something like that and he left a comment so i'm sure he was gonna go through i'm saying he but the person was gonna go through every single aliexpress haul that i had and continue flagging me and that's why i said uh -uh, i'm gonna take them down and you know and sad that's one of the biggest um views that i have the aliexpress Horse, but I'm not gonna um, jeopardize my channel just for views because I really don't get paid. Uh, my channel is monetized, but I don't, I, I have not got one cent from YouTube yet, so you know, I'm not gonna risk it. So I just take them down. So, anyway, enough of blabbling. So, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, my Joanne. Dollar Tree Michaels wore my haul. It's been a while since I did a haul video, a crafting haul video. 
um, I'm trying my hardest to get back into the groove of paper crafting, but oh my God, I had lost my mojo so bad. And I want to, I see, oh, cause I keep watching you guys and I see the projects and I'm like, oh man, I want to do that. But then I look at it and it's like, oh, no. But then again, I still have not finished this room. This room has been so overwhelming to do. I lost the mojo of clean, um, continue um, organizing too. So I have not finished it because I just don't want to do it. But it needs to be done so I could really get back into crafting because I, I'm still doing my cross stitch and my... Um, Thing and I do those videos, but I, I am missing the paper crafting, so I need to go back to it. But in order for me to go back to it, I had to have this room organized. So um, I have a whole week for the end of the year, and that's when I'm planning to tag this room and have it done by the end of the year. So like that, I start the new year with, with crafting. So anyway, guys, um, thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye now.